Let's cover Orange Bowl in Miami. Could Stanford's Jim Harbaugh be working for John Elway next year in Denver? Michelle Tafoya worked that angle. How likely is it that this is your last time coaching Stanford? I'm the head football coach at Stanford University. We're going to go out there and play as hard as we can, as fast as we can, for as long as we can, Michelle. And that's about all I have to say about that. Let's go win the championship. I'm three. One, two, three. Win. Harbaugh had two goals Monday, uh, win the Orange Bowl and avoid directly answering questions <laughs> about his future. With a lot of luck, he'll accomplish his first goal, projected number one pick in the NFL draft, Andrew Luck. Doug Baldwin with a nice step there, 21-yard gain in the very next play, Jeremy Stewart. Let's get some shoes. 60 yards, the longest rush in Stanford Bowl history. It's 7-0. Stewart gets by with a little help from his friends. Let's break it down. A little telestration. Watch the fullback, Owen Marisic, and the right guard, David DeCastro. And that is teamwork, and that is a hole right there. Harbaugh pumped up, Stanford up, 7-0. Still in the first. Uh, John Gruden, Ron Jaworski calling this game for us on ESPN. Said they'd never seen this before. Ball batted back. Offensive lineman Derek Hall caught it. Your instincts kick in. That's a safety hit, 7-2. Second quarter, Stanford's defense under coordinator Vic Fangio did a remarkable job of bottling up Tyrod Taylor. This play was an exception, and it's exceptional. The touchdown to David Wilson, who was suspended for the first quarter because he missed the team curfew. Do not miss this. Look right on the sideline right there, Stan. That move right there? Yeah. Terzete. <laughs> Wilson, touchdown. Harbaugh's got his eyes on the sidelines there. He's, he's almost down! Afterwards, they asked him, what'd you say right there? He said, I told you it was inbounds, and it was a heck of a play. It's 9-7. Still in the second quarter, Luck answering Taylor. To the redshirt freshman, Zach Ertz. Stanford coach is liking that kid to a young Todd Heap. PAT block, so 13-9 at the half. Stanford scored on its opening drive, make it 19-12. Taylor, long ball. He never saw Delano Howell. Taylor, 16 of 31, that pick, he was sacked eight times. Two plays later, a 56-yard run, and then a 41-yard pass to Kobe Fleener. It's touchdown. Jaws, let's go to the videotape. Beautiful play action fake. Take your shot. You just had the big run. The defense is sagging. You're in that go zone. Beautifully executed. Stanford up 26 to 12, fourth quarter. Luck to Fleener again. Fleener's going to hit the trifecta. Three touchdown catches in this game. Uh, a lot of signs out there said Harbossum. How about Reluculus? 85 yards passing in the first half, 287 for the game, four touchdowns, a Stanford Bowl record. And Stanford rolls. They came in averaging 40. They get 40. 40 to 12, your final. The Pac-10 improves to 4-0 all time in the Orange Bowl, winning each game by double digits by an average of 24 points per. Afterwards, the quarterback and the coach facing the future, kind of. How difficult a decision do you have to make over the next few weeks about deciding whether or not you want to play on Sundays right now? Well, I think, you know, there are a lot of worse decisions you might have to make in life. So, I don't know. I, uh, I, don't, want, I don't mean to be rude, but I'd rather not address that subject anymore. I, I'd like to enjoy the night. I really believe we were right in there, and it just it got away from us there in the second half. And, you know, that's, that's disappointing. But I don't think it's lack of effort. I think it's lack of execution on our part. Do you think this was the final game that you've coached at Stanford? <laughs> oh, please, please, give me a break. <laughs> You know, have some respect for the for the game, and and uh, it's about it's about the performance tonight of these players, and uh, I love them. Let's talk about.